All right, but yo, yo, be the people. This Nate here. This Kev. And yo, we are Games Music Life. This is the Games Music Life podcast, episode 330. All right. Yeah. Let's hey, get man, it up, look, bro. Yeah. We, <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we were talking before pod as we typically do. I find a lot about you, man. Like, the, the, I thought, the, see, like, sometimes yeah. I be telling you stuff that, and you be like in amazement. I'm like, bro, I thought this was regular. I thought uh-uh. everybody no. kind of did. I'm this. here to tell you that's not regular. I mean, I mind you, I'm not knocking it. That's what, you know, I mean, that's what y'all did. But I mean, like, no, fighting every day. It's not regular, bro. It's not, it's not regular. I mean, like, bro, sometimes that's the best way to start the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't agree with that. I understand. Yeah, with, with hands. <laughs> with hands. <laughs> Got to see and what feet. they got. And feet. It, like, I'm saying, it, like, bro, if, if, if you, if you touch the, if you touched earth, yeah. man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> As a matter of fact, oh man, I wonder if I can still find that. Like, uh, I got this picture of everybody in white uh, air forces. You know what? Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Like, it was, right. it's, it's classic. It was iconic. But it yeah. was it was y'all's version of a of a team stand up. That's all. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much, man. You know what I mean? It's like it, that that was our motivation to win the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you got to win the day. Yeah. You got to exactly. win the day. What's what's up, man? Hey man, beautiful yeah. Saturday still. It's cold. frigid, cold, but yes. uh, you know, the sun is shining. I'll take that. I mean, right. what last week it was snowing, and then it was sixty, and <sighs> exactly. Now, you know what I mean, my my yeah. poor grass don't know how to react. Like it's coming in paws, like really cool, like it's green and luscious. It's growing in patches for when the dogs tore it up during the winter and uh, yeah. fall. But it doesn't know how to react. Like it's like, man, are you are you going to treat me, Dad? Or like, what's going to happen? Because I don't really know how to grow at this point. So that's where I'm at with the grass, and like it's just confusing right now, you know. I got, the, uh, I got the yard man coming in two weeks, so. Oh, do you? Man, you gotta let me know how that works out, cause I need I need yeah. a good yard man. Yeah, I, I, I need, I need I'm help. Just, I'm just praying the pro- the ticket ain't too crazy. Well, that's why I need to know. When I yeah. say like, there's two yeah, things yeah. I need to know. I need to know if the <laughs> ticket's right. I need to know if it comes out good. All right, because <laughs> if one of the two don't match up, I'm not going. Yeah. With you. <laughs> I mean, and we could do it ourselves, man. We could go get the little machine, but Mm-mm. I don't know. It's yeah. it just uh, no that de- that take leave it to a professional. Yeah, that, that dethatching is somebody that makes money doing that. I want to pay them handsomely to do that. I don't want to do it. It, se- it actually seems very easy, bro. There's a little machine no, it, that you just buy, and, and it's just like mowing the lawn, and it just yeah. dethatches it for you. But then I got to go rent the machine, I, and I got to, yeah. like. You got to rake up the clippings. That's fine. I, could, I, I wouldn't mind no, that so you much. You better than me, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm cool. I, I, yeah. I don't want that to be my workout. That seemed like a different type of workout. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. What else was going on with you, though? Hey man, uh, <clears throat> we've been out here spreading democracy. Gotta gotta spread democracy, bro. Yeah, gotta gotta spread. spread that democracy, man. This but, game uh, is uh, and we'll get into a game what we've been playing, but yeah, that game is like I don't think special. it's gonna go out. Like it's not gonna like be stop being played. It's just been a fun game, man. Yeah, it's what the division should have been. You know, and, and playing this game, it kind of made me realize where the division went wrong. Okay. And they it went wrong in that it always wanted me to be out in that open world with my team. Yeah, well, that's the thing about it. Like, the thing that the division messed up is like they they kind of it was too big of a map, so where like you could join on your team. I still don't really realize what the division was a, not about, but what was the basis of playing it every day. And that's why I think I stopped playing. It was like, what is the point of me playing this anymore? The story's well, over. Yeah, and that that I see. I think that the story <laughs> was actually the problem. Like mm. uh, with uh, with Hell Divers, it makes it a lot easier because it's like, all right, man, I pick a mission. You know what I mean? We go do that. But in the meantime, like we can also just have congregation on the ship. We yeah. chit chatting or whatever, trying to figure out loadouts, go do a mission that maybe takes like 20 minutes or whatever. Now I can decide if I'm going to keep going, if I'm going to take a break. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it just made more sense. The division, it was like, yo, listen, I'm always constantly in the action. I can get to those little safe zones, but I got to actually get there. And I'm trying to follow along with the story at the same time. It's just too yeah, much. It's too it's much. Too much going on. Too Definitely ambitious. too much. Um, but shoot, while we're talking about shoot, let's start like we always do. What we've been playing, you've been playing, yeah. we've been playing that Hell Divers too, getting it in. It. What I love about it too, though, it, and it's like the funny things like you're when you play a game, sometimes you bump into the things that you didn't think you would love about it until you play it. One of the things that I love about it is I, there's nothing better than I'm sitting there playing, I'm about to start a mission, I'm on my ship, kind of, and I just hear somebody come on my mic and say, Yeah. <laughs> for, for democracy and it's like it makes me so happy it gets me pumped up and then we just we load into the mission and you hear the the uh the captain america type music playing while you're going yeah. down like i want to go save everybody and kill all the bugs because i got to liberate this planet for us you That's know a fact. Yeah. so um we've been having a ton of fun with it man and it's uh what i love too is like you know we'll be on it and it'd be, you know, the social aspect is back at it again. Like, y'all be back in a half hour. So we're texting back and forth. All right, I'll be back on in a half. All right. You know, that bat, sing- that bat signal go out. 
the homies is getting on. We on. But I, I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta go. You know, free the world, man. So that's been fun. But the, the game itself is like that trudge to get to twenty, to get so you can lock the rail gun and other things you can have. But um, I am yeah. worried. Not worried. I'm I'm interested to know the the, the things they're gonna spoon feed us as we progress. Because yeah, I think the flying bugs are now in the game. We should, it was mm-hmm. a rumor at first, but now it's confirmed that they are in the game. So it's like okay. We got to uh, keep growing, adding more things to it. Because you still think that they're going to add um, vehicles, which I think will be a good thing to add, too. Yeah, because <clears> like, <throat> well, we need to get over there and play the mechs. See what's I know. going on over there. You know, what, I, I, I completely forget about that, bro. I got to yeah. be honest with you. We, we're killing bugs. I'm like, I forget there's a whole other side of the a world or galaxy that we need to go to that has the mechs. And a whole different way you would have to play the game. Exactly. So a whole other yeah. loadouts we got to have. Like, all the stuff that we have now is for the bugs. Yeah. So we got to have to do a lot more scouting. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because, you know, hey, the, the, the mechs can shoot. They, mm-hmm. they got more long-range attacks. Like, yeah, the way you got to kind of plan that out got to be yeah. different. So, yeah, yeah, one of these days, one of these days, yeah. I'm drop over there. All right, we got to get over there. But right now, we still got to get done with the bugs. We got to liberate all those planets first. Um, you play anything else besides Helldivers 2? Uh, just a little 2K. You know what I mean? Yeah. I still boot it up, man. Uh, just because there's just nothing like it, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just fired up, play some basketball <clears> for <throat> 20 minutes, get on out of there, man. It's pretty nice. I ain't going to yeah. lie to you. But I don't have my PS Plus subscription anymore. Oh, you canceled it, huh? And I somehow, I guess, I don't I don't know what all I need it uh, to do, but I'm still playing online. So I'm like, well, I ain't going to probably get that again for a while. Because it's pay- expensive, bro. It's $80 I, now. I was about to say, you got to pay the $80. i am Honestly, though, I just um, I'm about to cancel my Xbox Live subscription because I don't even know why I have it. I think I'm conditioned to play it, pay it every month. Yeah. And I don't uh, every time I see that fourteen ninety nine charge come out. I'm like, man, why do I still have this for Game Pass for Game Pass? Well, I have, I have the bless you. I have the uh, what is it? The PC Game Pass. So you get the game. You get it on PC as well. But I don't play anything on there at yeah. all. You know, I told you, man, as time goes on, I'm starting to realize, ask myself, like, why do I have an Xbox? Like, why am I still in this ecosystem at all? I literally don't get none of the benefits. <laughs> you know, like none of them, you know? Yeah. So I mean, it's there because it can be. <laughs> See, and, that's, uh, that's not a good reason. On the off, I'm saying on, on the off chance that maybe Xbox unleashes some heat because they have had games that you wanted to play. So you want to crank play that it? Halo. Yeah, yeah, yeah true, you, true. You crank that Halo, crank that Gears. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's been a couple, but the, the real problem is that like, those legacy franchises that that made you love Xbox, man, really fell off. They did. Yeah, like they Gears did. is not a good game anymore. It's not no, even fun it's at all. Fun. Halo, like, bad which, game. Which I can't even realize why they left it on the table like that. Like the last um, Gears I played, it was like Gears of War something. I can't remember what it was. Like a like a DLC that came out. I had a real good time with it. It looked pretty. It played well, but. After I was done with it, it was like, oh, back on the shelf again. Like, I don't really, like, they kind of left the franchise by itself, man. Like, you still have smoke for Dom to this day because of Gears. Well, the problem was when uh, Xbox was trying to back off of their first-party titles during that, uh, like, Xbox uh, One mm-hmm. uh, era. Like, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what were the exclusives during that time? Uh, I want to say it was Gears, and that was it, though. Really, the exclusives was, was really in Halo. I'm saying, like, you got to keep in mind that that meant it had to go up against PS4. PS4, we got Spider Man. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, that it, the fact that I can even think of just that one, but we got a ton of like exclusive games for the PS4. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Man, I'm about to die over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's keto. I blame flow. the weather. That's but, keto. Uh, no, nah, like, <laughs> way, way past that. But, okay. uh, Nah, I'm saying uh, they didn't have any exclusives to the Xbox during that, uh, that period. Like, we didn't get a, a remarkable. Gears game during that uh, that console generation. Mm-hmm. We didn't get a remarkable Halo game during that console generation. Like there was really nothing memorable, and it set them down a bad path of, yeah. you know, what I'm saying not being able to kind of recover. Then they switched that games to services model, but it was already too late. It was like, yo, I, I'm willing to pay for the games uh, on a better console. Y'all giving me games that I don't want. Like, I mean, it's funny to get PC Simulator Two. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. It, it's right. funny, but. I'm paying real money here. Like, stop playing with me. And then right. when y'all do release these AAA titles, it's like, man, they kind of falling short. But I think too much time had passed. Yeah. Like when uh, when we played Gears, was that Gears Five? Uh huh. How far yeah. apart were Gears? First of all, Gears Four or whatever was it? Was it Gears Four that was like an absolute trash fire? No, you're talking about uh, Redemption or something like that. Nah, it was the one that had. It was like it was basically just horde mode over and over. 
And it was nah, a story. It, it was one where the story, I think that was the one where Dom died. Or where did oh, Dom yeah. die? I don't think that was Gears 2. No, nah, I don't think it was Gears 2. It, Gears I 3? just remember uh, when... Whenever they had to the intro that new character, man, game was going downhill, man, going downhill real fast. And then they had, then the they sun. were milking it. What's up? Was it, was it the son? It might have been it? Marcus Jr. Okay. Yeah, Marcus Jr. We didn't want that. Okay. <laughs> we didn't want that. We wanted Marcus. We wanted they, they brought Marcus. They had to bring Marcus back because they had nobody. To, cause, would, yeah, because the son was, was buns, that. man. We didn't want to care. Yeah. We didn't care about that. Yeah. So I'm I'm looking at it like that. Like, man, that that franchise just went downhill real fast, and now mm. they don't have any bangers. Hi-Fi yeah. Rush. Is just doing better because it's on PlayStation. True, true. Yeah. I don't. You know what? I don't, good. I mean, that's a good point. I just don't really, because I I think the the core question we're asking is how can Xbox rebound from this? And I don't think they want to. I really don't, man. I think as long as we they got to people got to spend the block and pay for Windows to activate it to get that watermark off your computer. <laughs> they just know that they can just they can put out some duds because like they bought all those studios. Heck, even yeah. when they bought um, who's the one they bought? Was it Bethesda? Call of Duty. Was Call of Duty owned by them now? Activision? Activision. No. Is, is it, are yeah. they owned by Xbox now? Yeah, Activision Blizzard. Yeah. Okay, but it would behoove them to not have it on all the other consoles too. So, like, what is the nah, reason I have this to. Xbox? You have to, you right? Got, it's, too yeah, big of a, say, it's too big of an yeah, idea. Yeah, and you you be you be cutting off your nose to spite your face because it's like, well, the player base is over there. So, you know what I'm saying? You bought this big IP. Now the game is going to die on this platform that just doesn't have enough players we're too deep into the console generation for people to care or have to switch aside mm -hmm. uh it's like and you're not going to make any money because the you know what i'm saying you can't really sell the games like you need to everybody's playing ps5 like we know this right more than pc right. more than switch any of that stuff everybody's on ps5 right and you got this sell point over there. they're in the wild more than anything they're wanting to get in them but like at first, I would say everybody wanted a PS5 because you got to have one. It was like FOMO. But now it's settled in. The console generation is pretty much almost at the end. It's like, yo, you got to have a PS5 to play the, play the heat. Like, yeah. we're talking about Helldivers too. how much fun we're having with it. If you have an Xbox, you can't experience this. Yeah, you got to get down or lay down, man. It's like Circuit City having to sell on Amazon. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> right. It is what it is, man. Like, the store that crushed you is also what's going to, you know what I'm saying, keep feeding you. Right, so, exactly. Yeah, I mean, speaking goes. of which, we got the uh, rumor for the PlayStation Five Pro specs are out. I know you're yeah. already getting ready. Amazing, to all get, the get. flukes, <laughs> all the flukes. Yeah, yeah. You know, I cleared off a place on my mantle. Over here. <laughs> Where's it gonna go? Right there. Okay. So is it yeah. gonna take the place of the Xbox, or are you just gonna put it right next to the Xbox? It don't matter. We figure that matter. out. We'll wherever, figure that wherever, out. The, wherever the P five Pro looks Hold best on. at. The real the real question I have is: Have you plugged your Xbox Series One or Series X into the power brick, or is it still plugged into the wall? Yeah, no, it's hooked up. It's hooked okay. up. All right. Gotta oh wait, longest. wait. Yeah, see, you gotta look. <laughs> <laughs> it might be on the surge protector. I think okay. it might be on the surge protector. All right, because for the longest you wouldn't even give it the respect of plugging it into the surge protector. You just plug it straight into the wall, like. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? The surge protector was, you know what I mean? It was full. There were there were more important <laughs> devices connected to the surge protector. You know what I mean? If I had to lose one, that was the one I was willing was to sacrifice. One? No, I feel it. I feel it. It makes it makes perfect sense to me. It makes yeah. perfect sense. Um, but yeah, the, the uh, PS5 Pro specs are uh they came they came out. It looks super powerful. I don't know, the gaming wise, they're going to make the heat on there. I'm just trying to realize if I need to I don't need to upgrade, but I do need another PlayStation Five because it's a long yeah. walk down to my man cave. So and if I, I have another, play GTA Six, right? True. Well, I mean, to piggyback on that, there is a rumor. I mean, GTA I ain't seen the rumor. GTA Six production has reportedly fall, uh, fallen behind. Rockstar urges staff to return to office to avoid delay. Dang. Now, what that tells me is Cats is at home on those team meetings with their camera off, sleep. Okay. Or or playing the game. Or or playing some type of game. Yeah. You know? Um, they were saying like um it might it might go past twenty twenty six um for nah, release. Hey, y'all gotta go to the office. I'm sorry, man. Like <laughs> Yeah, take your butts in the office. Let's knock this out, man. It's like right. we ain't got but a little bit more time to go, maybe a year. Uh -huh. You be all right. You know, <clears throat> deliver us what we need. And then y'all can go back to working from home. I don't really care. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, nah, we ain't waiting no longer on that uh, on a GTA Six, man. Like this is just getting ridiculous at this point. Right. No? Right. I like, mean, how much? Y'all put much the longer? announcement out there. I mean, y'all put the video out there. We all saw it. We all got hype. I mean, everybody, people gonna get hyped for GTA Six anyway because GTA Five was such a great and the franchise is just amazing and it's Rockstar. We know it's gonna be heat. So 
I'm with you, Kev. I align with you on that sense. Y'all get back to the office. Do the do the Lord's work, okay? For yeah. democracy. Get yeah. in there. Finish the game. Give the people what they want. Let it be a good game when it comes out. Don't let it be broken so we don't have to have like a day one patch of 19 gigs. Like, I hate that. I hate that y'all put a game mm-hmm. out and you put a day one patch. That's pretty much the game. Yeah, you know that's saying? true. That's pretty that's much true. the game. Yeah. Um, you know, but, but yeah, we need that. This, the streets need that. And that's why I need the P5 Pro. P5 you Pro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I need that P5 Pro. I wonder if it's going to be hard to. Uh, first of all, we think about. What do you think the price going to be on that joint? The one oh, I'm man. willing to pay. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not for real, for real. It'll probably be about five, six hundred. I five, mean, six hundred. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be in line with what it is right now. Yeah, I think if anything, what it'll do too is the P, the regular PS5 that's out now will give people the opportunity to buy one on discount. Sony's pretty decent about that. Um, man. Oh no, man! They might you know? be they might be trying to still play the game, but I'm gonna tell you what: if the current PS5 catches a Legos behind a GTA 6, if it can't run it properly, oh no, yeah, I'm not going, bro. I'm not rolling nah. for that. No, I'm not going for that either, man. I'm not going for that too. Another thing I too I was seeing a lot of hype over is this Do- Dragon's Dogma too. Dragon's Dogma, Dogma. Like I don't like some what? of these games, like like. Uh, the uh what's it called boulders gate like the games that win a lot of these mm-hmm. awards and stuff like man just don't seem interesting to me you know like I, I don't know if it's just a me thing or something you probably would have liked uh boulders gate man i think it was supposed to play like that uh octopath traveler oh really like an rpg i think so i think so. it had me off of it though they, they kept highlighting the fact that you could be a bear and a bear could sleep with another human like i was like ah, i don't know what's going on it's a little weird here like I, i'm off hey man you know what i mean yeah. They give you options. <laughs> that's it. In game features are plentiful. Hey man, that's one that's one way of looking at it, Kev. Okay. That's, that's one way of looking at it. Um all right, man, that's it. Gaming news. Not really much going on right now. Um if if I had to put a button on all this, if someone from Rockstar sees this, hey guys, go back to the office, man. Get get the game done. Please. You, you know, know what I'm saying? It's it's not uh it's for the people. Like just understand it's for the greater good of the people. Like, man, you guys are gonna change the world. Right. Exactly. You know, you're doing you're like, doing a service to all of us. And we appreciate that's right. you. That's right. I'm sure Rockstar offices are pretty nice, man. They got candy, right. soda, yeah, big probably screen got TV. Beer on tap. They probably got of course. All, all the amenities, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro- chefs, all yeah. kind of stuff, man. Word. Like what what you want to what you want to be at home for? You got to cook your own food. You right. go to the office. They're gonna they're gonna make the food, and the food is probably free. Right. Exactly. That's a you, fact. Matter of fact, give up your apartment. Just live there. <laughs> let's get this game done. <laughs> Save on rent. Yeah. You know what I'm California? saying? Like economy crazy. Economy yeah, it is. crazy. Just live at that office. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Y'all yeah. like they got a full bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yo, they throw a restaurant in that bad boy if we need speak- it. Speaking of economy, man, have you looked at? I mean, I know we we both own houses. But have you looked at the housing market lately? Like, I don't think it's possible for me to buy a house right now. I can believe that it's probably pretty tough. It is. Probably I mean, we tough. don't have to look at it because, but my barber is a realtor, so I always tend to ask him that every week. He's like, "Yo, it's really rough right now, like yeah. buying a house." Um, but more importantly, bro, let's talk about this Kyrie situation, right? So, yeah, it seems like it's been, it's been like I thought it was like a social experiment because mm-hmm. everybody was talking about. Somebody threw it out there. I think it was Gilbert Arenas had on his podcast talking about uh, they think Kyrie is the most skilled athlete of all time, skilled basketball player of all time. Yeah. So when he first said it, I'm like, that's a wild take, right? But I can understand that that conversation. All right, I can yeah. understand it. We'll, we'll get into that portion of it. But Jeff Teague's pod, he came out. He said, yo, I don't care what nobody says. Kyrie Irving is top 10 players of all time. So yeah. I, I oppose it to you. I'm like, man, that's a wild take. And you have the nerve to back this up. So you align yeah. with that, huh? Yeah, like, brother. Like, I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, wait, are, well, we really, pre- are we going to? I'm going to go preface ahead. this by saying, all right, this is Kev's point, right? Yeah, you're about to say point. some wild stuff. I know you're about to say some wild, but I'll give you the floor. Go ahead. I'm about to break it down. Okay. And, I, and I'm going to preface it by saying, you know what I mean? Uh, we have to take accolades and error out of the equation. Right? That's a good point. That's a great if we're point. We're taking accolades and, and error out of the equation and just mm-hmm. looking at a player's skill set, you know, on the actual court and what they're able to do um, as a ball player. Like, so that ain't got nothing to do with the wins and losses. It's if I had to look this man one on one, dead in the eye, do I think I would have any chance to do anything? Like, okay. could I score on them or, you know, <clears throat> could I stop them from scoring? 
Mm -hmm. That's the way I'm kind of looking at this. Okay. I can't name 10 players better. Like, okay, so first of all, uh, all of, everybody from pre-Jordan era, out. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Not, like, bro, do you think Bob Cousy have anything for I'll Kyrie give, Irving? I'll give Bob Cousy work right now. Myself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've I'm, said this many times. Will Will they should have filmed that hundred point game, brother? I'm very sorry. You're out why, of there. why Will it always catch it straight from you? Like literally every time we talk about old school players, you always we'll believe it, man. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll don't really believe it, man. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like old folklore, you know what I mean? Like Bro, he got a hundred point game. All I got is a picture of him holding up a sign that says a hundred. Right. How many times have we seen players hold up signs that got numbers on them? <laughs> like I don't know. And then you know, the sources is trust me, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Statistic and yeah, like so I don't know the hundred point game. And plus we know that he was probably playing around a bunch of bums. Like I'm sorry, mm -hmm. the guys that they're the skill level is just not the same. The game has grown immensely, and that's no knock to those guys, those pioneers. Right. That started the game, but we're just talking about skill level. Okay. So all of them are out, man. So, Dr. J, sorry, man. <laughs> sorry, Pop. Sorry, sorry, Pop. We done with the 70s. We done with the 80s. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I, like, the man, he, he brought, see, this is all that dude's uh, fault, man. That's all that dude's fault. Because now he brought out the film, you know what I'm saying? Cause before, the film don't make it look good. The film does not make it look good. resting quietly on what we were told. Like, hey, listen, this person did this. Uh -huh. This person did that. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. You know what I mean? Whatever. Now the film is starting to come up, and it's like, wait a second. Yeah, yeah. Now he's I pulling. Think he's, I might be better. He's pulling for content on some of that stuff too. When he did he the is. video about Michael Jordan not having a left hand, I'm like, come on, bro. Like, some of this you need to relax. And I mean, if you really watch, a lot of times it's the same clip. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Three or four times, and he's just talking. It's comedy. Like he's just right. doing comedy or whatever. Right. right. But some of those, it, there was some, there was some analysis in there where it was like, you know what? You might be on to something. Like uh, <laughs> uh, slow walking Larry Bird. Sorry, man. <laughs> Larry Bird would get buckets today, man. He would be. Uh, mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Uh huh. But uh, Kyrie versus any one of those guys. Come on, we're taking Kyrie. They. There's nothing they can well, do to stop Kyrie. As long as you say you take out era and accolades in it, I'm rolling with that. I'm rolling with that debate. Mm -hmm. All right. The uh, the one that got me the most. Okay, first of all, top ten ever players. That's where it's like hard to say. Like, okay, give me the Kyrie, ten. Kyrie. See, I, it's hard for me to do it like off the cuff to say like, all right, taking the accolades and stuff out. Kyrie is immensely talented. Now I will say this, right? I can't. I'm not going to give you the ten. Right now, because I don't know if I could really name. I could, I could, because it ain't ten. You know this is not well, ten. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna be hard for me to do that. You take accolades and and era out of it, is it be rough for me to do it? Like, give me some time to think about. It. Maybe we come back next pod. We be kinda... adjust. That's that's another problem, man. We be adjusting down for era now too, because it's like, yo, again, man's exposed. Like Magic didn't have a left hand. Yeah, yeah. Magic did not have a left hand well, at I, all. I think part of it as well, at least for me, is like. With all the stuff that comes with Kyrie, his flat earthing, it takes him out of the top 10 for me. Like, it, he it, might it, be right. I'm it, not going to lie. I don't know. I don't see, know. This like, right. Listen, no, clearly this, Kyrie knows something that we don't. No, this like, is, this man, is, he, he can do things with the basketball that I ain't never seen. Look, this is what I hate. This is, this is what I hate with you, okay? Is that the fact <laughs> once you're riding for somebody, you will, you will try to turn that debate. Right, you'll give all that. Yo, he might be right. Like, no, he's not right, kid. We know the world. We know that. The I don't think he's right. right, but like, he clearly knows something that we don't. He's tapped no. into something else, man. No, he's tapped into a strand that we have not. We're not privy to. That's what it is. Kyrie, if they is make you play basketball like that, <laughs> they need more of that. You yo, know what I mean? <laughs> he's immensely talented, S super immensely talented. But if, like I said, if I'm being honest, the um, a lot of his stuff that comes along with him is like, come on, uh, Kyrie. Now I will say with. It seems like every year for Ramadan, he ends up turning it up, right? And I'm thankful that he's with the um, the, the Mavericks right now because the Brooklyn Nets gave my man a banana and told him to go out there and hoop. Whereas <laughs> the Mavericks was like, we're flying a chef for you. They're, they're, they're making sure his nutrition is right. But, like, I don't know if it's my algorithms or if it's just maybe – he's that going that viral. Right? I'm seeing Kyrie clips all the time. Like, I saw him catch yeah. a oop the other night. And like yeah. Luca went back nuts. Back to back oops. Yeah, he went nuts. And like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just seeing a lot of it. But like, I've never seen a player, and the, a lot of former players or even active players are coming out to say, nah, Kyrie is one of the best to ever play. You know? So if they're saying it, I have yeah. to, you know, it's like us in our field. Like, somebody tell you, like, this guy's one of the best, you know, coders, best 
technology people ever and somebody from the outside looking at who might be a fan of just technology like man i don't see it but if we're saying it it's going to hit a little different so i gotta i gotta listen to them and take their word for it you know i'm trying to tell you uh, bro i've been i've been told you I've, i know like, you've been you know, on Kyrie I've, for I've been trying to be boss. respectful to the legends for a long time but like, well i'm glad the conversation is open man okay hold on now this this is where it gets weird to me and this is why i'm gonna pose this question to you because it's gonna be put you in a very tough spot Okay. So when Draymond Green said that he believes that Kyrie Irving is the scorer that people think Kevin Durant is, what uh -huh. say you? What did you think about that comment? I understood uh, Draymond's point because Kyrie doesn't have the physical attributes of KD to be able to get buckets the way that he does, but Kyrie still gets buckets like he's KD or whatever. Some of what KD can do, it's astonishing because of his size, and we know that it's like, all right, there's just nothing you can do to stop that. Uh -huh. Like Kyrie's, what, 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", if we're being generous. Yeah. But, uh, you know what I'm saying, by NBA standards, you know what I'm saying, he's a smaller guy. So for him to be able to get any shot that he wants takes a lot more, you know, skill and talent. You're seven foot, and you know what I'm saying, you got a wingspan of 7'1". Mm -hmm. You raise your arms above your head, you know what I'm saying, half of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Half of the competition has just been erased anyway. Facts. Now, the yeah. fact that KD is that tall and lengthy and can move the way that he can, mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying, his, his game is so smooth and, and all of that kind of stuff, yeah, it makes him special. Mm -hmm. But if KD was six foot one, you know what I'm saying, his his skill set has to kind of adjust. And Kyrie's so, has adjusted. You know see the I mean? way the way you framed it is a lot better than the way Draymond framed it. It I sounded think, like hate from Draymond. Hell yeah, it sounded like hate. It was <laughs> like let's give it all the way a buck. It was hate. Like he doesn't like and when I got done listening to that comment, I, I couldn't really roll with any of it because I'm like, yo, this dude really hates KD. He really does yeah. not like him one bit. But yeah, it sounded like hate. But like when cause when he said um that uh you know, you can make it hard for Kevin Durant. Everything that you just said is a great debate. It was a great point to say, like, okay, because he's smaller than KD, he must have a higher skill set because KD has it easier because he's higher in the air, you know, that type of yeah. thing. But the way that Draymond said it was like, yeah, you can make it hard for KD. When? When has anybody made anything hard for KD? <laughs> I'm serious. In the last, like, what, 10 years? The guy looks like a walking bucket while he's out there. Like, if, if, the, if the offense was – and he's efficient. Too. That's how you yeah. know that KD is, is hard to stop him because he's efficient. He's getting like, what, maybe 10 to 15 shots a night and ending with 30? Yeah. Like, come on, man. You know, that's why I say with Devin Booker, I get all the things that you try to do, my guy, Waffle. Give the ball to the give the ball to Kevin Durant, man. Like, that's going to be your key to offense. And I think Bradley yeah. Beal hitting his stride, too. The Suns are going to be – they're going to be a tough out. And I think that what Draymond was saying about, like, you can make it hard for KD, I think he's talking about, like, I mean, at that point, we're talking so detailed. He's talking about on a possession. So it's like, hey, listen, I can do things to make KD pass, essentially. Like, maybe maybe we okay. pinch if he catches it in the corner or whatever. But basically what he's saying, like, uh, if, if we try to pinch or send the double in the corner or whatever, that's not going to stop Kyrie or whatever, where that may <clears throat> force uh, Kevin Durant to kind of pass. Okay. But, like, uh, again, like at that point, we're talking semantics because it's like, listen, I can make it tough for KD to get the bucket the second that he wants it, yeah. but eventually he he's gonna he's gonna score and he's gonna score a lot. But it's like on this possession, we can come down. I made him pass once. Now, yeah, he got the ball back on a on you know what I'm saying on cutback backdoor mm. or alley oop slam or whatever. Eh, yeah. But I made it hard for him for you know uh, pause. Yeah, for about yeah. eight seconds. Nah, I feel you. <laughs> well, one thing I'll say, one, uh, another thing I'll say with that too is. If the Mavericks can ever figure that portion of it out, where him and Luka can play simultaneously, where mm -hmm. off the ball, and I think I got to think that Kyrie is smart enough too, and I think Luka's smart too. I'm not saying he's dumb, but Luka also pride, and he's been the man on the team. I think if they be able to figure that portion of it out, they will be tough in the playoffs. They got a good yeah. bench too, you know. They got a, they got a really good bench. A lot unlike the Suns, I think they traded away a lot to get KD. I I don't know. I don't think they can really go far. Um, in the playoffs, Nurchik, I mean, I don't know about him, but if the Mavericks can figure it out, man, they could be a scary out in the playoffs, you know? They could be a scary Maybe. out. Maybe. The, uh, the only problem with that is that uh, the Mavs lack a lot on defense. So Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that gets a little bit tough. You know, I, I was actually thinking about that, and I was like, yo, LeBron really was the perfect complement to Kyrie. And I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna tell you who really uh, ruined that, and that hmm. was the media in Cleveland. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, they ruined it because it was like a jockey over whose team it was, and just putting all these narratives in. And I don't, I think some of the things that LeBron carries, it's not really him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I think some of it is 
as a player, I can understand it being a little bit intimidating or hard to play with LeBron because of everything that comes along with him. Some of it not even any detriment to him himself. Like, he's doing it. It's just that this dude has been literally the the uh the 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 leader of a not leader but the best player on face the team the, the face of the league since he's came in he's li lived up to all the hype we hit. they have not found him on any scandal as of yet hopefully they never do um and I, when i say scandal i mean like balco and uh and uh and uh and uh and steroids because i will say he's a one of one i like to think that but we, we got to be honest man that that's really unheard of you know the only yeah. person ever did that they got better as they got older was Barry Bonds and we know how that ended out but anyways I digress the um it's got to be hard to have been a player on that team and for Kyrie oh. I think egos got involved and Kyrie even admitted that egos got involved and he apologized 100%. later in time but man I always say that I just sent you the text before when Kyrie when uh LeBron was in Cleveland before he left to go to LA like yo can you imagine if Kyrie and LeBron stayed together for the rest of their careers man like that yeah. would that would have been something just told they had to, they had to recruit KD to beat them. What made that crazy is that LeBron saw that at All Star. Like he yeah. he saw Kyrie out there the year that Kyrie won uh, All Star MVP or whatever, yeah. and he knew immediately. Like all right, yeah, he's something different. <laughs> well, Jeff and, Teague uh, said it. I could really help him out. <laughs> oh, very much so. Well, he can help me out too. But Jeff, but Jeff Teague said it when he said that uh, when he played against Kyrie when they were losing a bunch of games before before LeBron ended up going uh, back to uh, back to Cleveland. It's like yo. I, he saw it like, yo, this, they're losing a bunch of games, but this kid right here is special. Heck, mm -hmm. the the NBA um, scouts saw it. Kyrie only played eleven games in college, yeah, and still drafted number one. Yeah, so that, that's different. That, yeah, just different, bro. So I get. But so when, when you put when you put all that into the debate, then it's like, okay, I can understand that point. But when you say dumb stuff like like uh, or not dumb, but not fleshing it out as well as we just did, like like Draymond did, which just came from a, a place of hate, it seemed like to me. <laughs> That's when it's like, oh, bro, I think this is a social experiment. Hey, yeah, I when I heard it, I was like, ooh, I know what he's trying to say, but at the same time, it's like, man, yeah, that's gonna sound like hate because yeah. of the history between him and KD, which I don't understand. Like, I don't know what their problem is. I know Draymond probably caught a lot of heat for running KD out of Golden State. As he should. Yeah, as he as should. As he should. Because it was like, bro, what are you doing? Like, exactly. We got a good thing going here. And the reason <laughs> yeah, why, you, we can, why we can keep this going, it? you literally are just going to just just make my man feel bad about not being here. You're not making him feel – everybody in this organization is making my man feel welcome. You're the one person that is not making him feel welcome. And I think it hits hard. And you're the one that called him. Word. You but brought him it, here. <laughs> but I think it hits differently from, Kate, from uh, Draymond as well. It's like, yo – you're really not that nice either. Like, I get what you bring to the team, but if you weren't on this team, I don't think you could have your skill set and put it anywhere else and it'd be great. Right. You know? Yeah. So it's like, of all right. people, why are you pushing away? Like, Steph yeah, pushed you away. you benefited like, the most from this. Exactly. Like, yeah. if Steph pushed him away, like, okay, Steph, you know, you can only be one alpha on the team. Maybe just egos came involved, but it's like Draymond. Steph's cool with it. You pushed him away? Like, come on, bro. Like, what's up, man? Well, he knew it was Steph's team because he was there, or uh, Steph was there before him. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Steph, Steph, say Steph is low key as OG, but. Well, let Steph say that, you know. What but I mean? Steph like, ain't that ain't that ain't his brand. And like, I need my I need the dogs to be the dogs. You know what I mean? So true. Steph that, that, just knew what he needed to do. It's like, yo, you protect me, and I handle the rest. Yeah, yeah. I man, I um coming down to the end of all this with the uh, playoffs about to come up. I I really don't know. Like, if I had to guess who was gonna win, like I I think that Denver is still there. Their bench is a little bit different, but like I still see them. They just find ways to win. And jo and jo Jokic is, is still that guy, man. Like until someone dethrones him, then I, you know, I don't know. Like I mean, just That's thinking a about it. Product, like, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Like really, like coming up on the stretch, and it's like, it's anybody's game. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. I know yeah. Minnesota ain't gonna do it. Yeah, you keep saying that. I, I know. The Carlton Towns right. is coming back. You know, Ant Man is another year. But like, you know, I think the funny, the more fascinating thing about the playoffs, though, to me, is how fast that window closed for Memphis. Like that, it was like they were they were that team. We thought they were ascending. They got rid of Dylan Brooks, and then Ja got got into his troubles, and then got injured. But they were mm -hmm. a dumpster fire out there. Like nobody else on that team is like Bain seems pretty cool, but I think his arms are too short. But um, it's like that window. J. Uh, he looked okay. They they had another Jackson on our team, GG Jackson, I think. Um, mm, yeah, yeah, I think he's pretty good too. But the uh, I want to I want to see Golden State kind of go far again. I want to see Chris Paul get one, man. And like the, the more time goes by, I'm starting to realize like we're gonna. Chris Paul's probably never gonna win one. I want to see the clips, man. I know. I I, I told I you I, I'm hitch, I hitched my wagon to him. Your boy Harden is out here contesting Kawhi Leonard's shot, and I knew you yeah. would get a kick out of that. Yeah, that you was know a what I'm funny saying? clip. 
he was making was sure uh, Kawhi was on point. You know what I'm saying? Like it was already they, they was they was beating him down. It was like 84 to 60. So oh, I was it? like, yeah, it really don't matter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So okay. Yeah, yeah, I try to block my teammate's shot. Don't worry about it, man. Yo, like, that was hilarious. Knock it down. That was hilarious, bro. I um, I am hitching my fandom to the Clippers. I would like to see James Harden win one. I really yeah. would. Um, in my, in I would just per- like to see Kawhi back in the conversation because it Same. seems like it's been a little quiet for him. And it's like, yo, nah, like Kawhi's still a dog. Like, yeah, I think he might want it that way, man. You know, Ky- uh, Kawhi is a man of uh, not many words. So, yeah, the only thing I would, in my perfect scenario with this story, is that James Harden will average thirty and PG will come up short again as he always does. Pure garbage. <laughs> Hopefully you know. it just won't matter. Like right. That's Harden, what I'm saying. Won't matter. Uh, Harden and Kawhi, there'll be enough of one two punch that, you know what I'm saying, PG can just coast. You right. know, I didn't know that people had so much love for PG. Oh, they did. It really seems like, I didn't know that the younger generation, and I think that's all from 2K. Oh, absolutely. A thousand percent. I was just about to say, you beat me to it. It's all because on 2K, he's the perfect build. Like when, yeah. like when people build their character, I want Paul George Jumper. Um, it's smooth. He has a great game. But every, like, What's my man? Joe Ingles? Is that his name? Yeah, that, that, yeah that, uh, Joe Ingles. Yeah, yeah. Like I you know. No, I don't I don't play 2K to that extent to where I'm the perfect build, but the kids really love him. Yeah. And uh I blame Carmelo Anthony's me. son too. For, for <laughs> yeah, Kyan. Yeah. Yeah. Like, listen, Kyan. Boy, <laughs> I understand where your bread get buttered, okay? Yeah. You That's a wild take like, when you when you live when you are the son of Carmelo Anthony. Right, and, and your and your pops was nice. Like right. your pops was really like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Come now, on now. Okay. Put a little, don't that, put too much dip on your chin. Going back to skill set, like Melo had a crazy skill set. He did. You know? He did. I put Melo over a lot of them old guys too. Like, man, listen, Dr. J <laughs> don't want to see Melo, bro. Like, let's just keep it real. Let's keep it funky. <laughs> Dr. J don't want no smoke with Melo. <laughs> yeah, it's always Dr. J we go to. And like I know the old I've seen really some upset. things, like, man. I have. No, I I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with like I, I remember for the longest it was a running joke. Like I'd never seen Dr. J shoot a jumper. Yeah, like I bet you. Him. Yeah, well, I, I, I still to this day you can't find a lot of clips of Dr. J coming off the pick, pulling uh-huh. up, shooting the J. Like I just don't straight slasher. Yeah, just, just slashing, slashing and diving towards the rim. Yeah, yeah. So he always catches the stray, and then Wilt's hundred hundred point game. Until we see the footage, I don't believe it happened either. I'm with you. The only ones, the only one, I won't put no uh, put no filth on uh, Bill Russell's name just because he a legend, yeah. he an icon. I won't yeah. put no no filth on his name. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie though. A lot of these other cats, man, they have they have under review. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like Hakeem under review. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, we got we got to stop. Because <laughs> if we keep going, we're gonna kill. Like Hakeem, I I gotta, I gotta give Hakeem his flowers, man. The dream under is- review. Because I can't put Hakeem on there before uh, Kareem. Kareem under review. <laughs> See, I knew, okay. it. I knew it. This, this is what I was trying to avoid. I knew you were going to the Kareem point, and I'm trying to like. <laughs> I'm saying now that his record got broke, man. Like now, you know, I ain't that impressed. I'm not that impressed anymore. What's the sky hook even that good? You know, you know what I'm saying. Like, and under it's under review. Like, I mean, he was also playing against, you know, what I'm saying, uh, plumbers. You know, what I'm saying, Kevin McHale. Was Kevin McHale a good basketball player? I don't know. Probably not. If some of the people that y'all are telling me is legend, if Dr. J is a legend. Kevin, in a way, in a way, Kevin McHale was that good. Like I'm sorry, so yeah, Kareem under review. You know what I'm saying? All, the, all these old characters, man, they all under review. Yeah. As far as uh, basketball skill set goes, and yeah. again, that's no knock to them. The legends are legends. I joke, I kid. Right, as right. We speak exactly, here. exactly. These but, these uh, these sentiments are Kev's sentiments alone, and not the sentiments of games music. Like, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm on your bumper <laughs> until you give me the ten. Until you give me the ten, let me think about go, it. Yeah, you go. You what you gonna find is like, man, you gonna get to about six, and you be like, huh? <laughs> maybe Kyrie was right. <laughs> maybe, maybe Kyrie was. He, he might really be like that. Yeah, right, right. Like I need to get more into Kyrie. <laughs> give me my credit card. I get a Kyrie jersey. Um, all right, man. Have you watched any of March Madness this year? Uh, yeah, I've been watching it at work. You know what I'm saying? Just to kind of pass the time. <laughs> exactly. You know I mean? That's, That's it. Cool. Pass the time. I know none of these teams, Kev. I know yeah. none of them. And another thing that's bad about it, too, like I was watching the Oakland game, and they beat Kentucky the other night. And the kid, this dude was going nuts, man. He was he hit like 30 points. He had like 10 three-pointers. He almost broke the record of having more threes in the game until after the game. And I saw that Mans was like a six-year senior. He has like a wife and kids. You know what I'm wow. saying? Like something about that is nasty. Until they flush and all the kids from the COVID years are out of the out of college, that's one thing we'll be back to having actually kids 
in college basketball. Because <laughs> I think that's part of the reason why I'm not really into it. I don't even know who the best player is in college basketball. I thought it was supposed to be the uh, the Rob Dillingham dude or whatever, but clearly that ain't working Nah, out. he was getting blocked, locked up again. Yeah, you talking about the dude from Kentucky, ain't. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was getting locked up. Out. And then shout out yeah. to the Camden legend, uh, Dewan Wagner. His son played for Kentucky. He link, he looked like he was lost out there too. So I'm like, what the heck is going on, man? Like it's like I don't I don't get it. College basketball. I think, and I said this. I think it was last part or pod before. Women's basketball is just a better product right now. now. I'm gonna tell you what it really is, man. Uh, basketball below the professional level is just too spread out right now it like is. uh with the aau leagues overtime the d well, they, league they closed one college, down didn't they one just they, closed they shuttered a team for the g league oh it wasn't the whole league just one team yeah no no just one team oh uh, well never mind i thought that yeah, was yeah. the whole league away i thought the whole league was shut down nah 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 it's still there but i'm saying like it, it's just too spread out talent is going it's yeah, it's just way too many different outlets and venues. Like, how am I supposed to know who's good if they're not playing? You know, what I'm saying the best players, uh, right? You know, in the country or whatever, right? And if the best players in the country aren't going to college, right? Then because like it think about it, it in the league in the draft last year, like the twins, those uh, Thompson twins, and mm-hmm. a lot of those other players. You're like they came from this league and that league. And that's why I thought it's looking at it super weird. Like, where are these? Who are these kids? I'm not saying they're not good, but. But we just don't, don't see them. They don't get the coverage, uh, they, like how college basketball you would get coverage and all that well, kind of stuff. Well, if we look, like if the we overtime look, league's not getting covered, bro. Like, no, it's not. And that a lot of those kids came from that league. But okay, yeah. if we got a chance to look at all this, bro, like how good are they? Scoot Henderson has been struggling this year. That's a fact. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like it's like, man, he, they they so bad they got my guy glasses. I thought, that he, <laughs> I thought that was the reason. <laughs> Brother, can you see the play? <laughs> like, that's it. You can't see the rim. Let's get some glasses. <laughs> you can't see what's going on around here, boy. <laughs> he was playing you know that mean? bad. They thought he'd be yeah. like, let's get his glasses together. <laughs> so, like, these, some of these leagues, like you said, the best players playing against one another. You would think, like, maybe that's it. Or maybe they just the competition just ain't is not that great. You know, you can't take a six five dude or six seven and make him a point guard and think he's going to be great. And I think that's some of the things they're doing in all this. But um, to your point, I haven't I haven't watched any college basketball other than being background music. While we're playing uh, Hell Divers, I got it playing on my other monitor and it's just playing. So it's not like I'm not invested at all. I'm gonna tell you what the other the real probably the real biggest problem is with college basketball is mm-hmm. the fact that all the best players are playing overseas. Like I mean, like bruh. I just saw a highlight of Wimby. Yeah. Like, I yeah. mean, just like, but it seems like he's just doing this every night in and night out. Like, you saw the one did, where he blocked man shot. He and blocked came down. man's, yeah. came down and that caught the fake. oop. Yeah. I'm saying he caught the oop like at his hip. Bro. And then turned and dunked it. It was like. He, right. He did all that and caught it from a hip. But Kev, he was probably this high off the ground. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's what's weird about Like, my man just, I'm like, he's like, he's going to lay it up. He dunked that. He he, one of his one one foot was on the free throw line when he jumped. Like that looks <laughs> fake to me, man. Like <laughs> on an oop, yeah, on an oop. Like Listen, yeah, knock on wood. But the way he blocked man, though, oh, it was like he, it was like he, how how I blocked Dante. It just, exactly. You know, it's just, like look at out of here, man. He, he he's blocking it and catching it. That's the thing. <laughs> That's what's disrespectful. But I said, man, like you know, a shot you just throw you block it out of bounds. He's blocking it and like no, give me that. And then nah, going the other yeah, way, it's starting to break. Took it away. <laughs> <laughs> to the point though, it was it was so bad. Like the dude who put up the shot, like you couldn't even see him anymore. Like when we just put both his hands up, you couldn't even see man. You just saw yeah. the ball pop out. Like right. uh, all right. That's the scary part. Is once yeah. they put a good team together or anybody around him, like that's gonna be scary with that yeah. dude, man. Or if his teammates stop being haters and realize he's the guy on the team is getting the dag on ball. I, for as many highlights as I see, I see a lot of highlights where man's is cutting towards the basket and they're not giving him the ball. Just literally throw the ball up. It's two points every time. Yeah. Give him hey, the listen, ball. I'm going to tell you what. I can honestly see basketball going the route of soccer, though. And I, I'm actually super here for it. Now, with that said, we might have to eliminate the college game. Like, sorry, it just <laughs> is what it is. But, uh, <laughs> like, I, I could I honestly see that, and it would be so fire mm-hmm. because then you could have uh, all these different leagues, just okay. kind of the way it is now. But, they'd all end up kind of under the umbrella of the NBA. So, like, you got your G League or whatever, and then, like, you have regional leagues, but Mm -hmm. you also have international play, international competition. That'd be dope. Develop the G League Africa, G League Euro, 
all mm. that kind of stuff. So you get all the best talent in the world, and then you have more of like a, a cup like series. So it's like, yo, listen, you got to win your like. I, I don't know how. Are you familiar with the the, the structure of soccer? The only thing I got from soccer Outside is of Ted, Ted Lasso. Ted, Ted Lasso. That's it. That okay. Well, it. did you un- did you understand what they were saying about like uh, the team getting relegated or whatever and all of that stuff or when they got promoted? Okay. So I, I knew it happened, but it got promoted because of the level of play. So they had to play into the higher levels, right? Yep, exactly. Okay. So now imagine how fire that would be. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we had like Columbus just had like a little regional team. The, <clears throat> the the Buckeyes became instead of being a college team, they become, you know what I'm saying, like our, our semi pro team and we have our own little league of, you know what I'm saying, all the teams out here, and then maybe you get promoted and you work your way up until you're in what would be considered the Premier League or whatever. Okay. So uh, I could honestly see basketball going that way. And then, you know, become it is already a pretty big international sport. We know it's real big in, like, China and all that stuff, uh, the European League or whatever. NBA just ends up absorbing all that. That would be fire. But, again, college would have to go away for that to happen. But I would mm-hmm. love that. I would love to have, a, like, a local team. We could be, like, basketball hooligans, link up on a Saturday. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. go out, support the local <laughs> team. You rah-rah. You yeah. know what I mean? They get promoted. Now they playing better comp and all that stuff. It would be fire. That's yeah. what we need. That's no, what we need. I, I feel you. It would take a, the backing. I think, it, honestly, that could be dope as long as – I mean, it sounds like it just be restructuring at this point. Just do away with those leagues, like you said. Do away with the college – you wouldn't end go. up doing away with them. They would just kind of get absorbed to become like lower lower level leagues from the NBA or whatever. That would be or, dope. The, only, the, the problem with college, though, is like they'll never let college fully go away because so many different so many things are ingrained in college sports. I mean, college, whereas if we really look back on it, I don't know if college is the best uh, use of funds for that kids should do, you know, or yeah. model some kids is good for them. You know, but for some people, it's like, yo, don't just go to like little homie. You watching this? You going to college for stationary writing? Stop. All right. If you go, <laughs> if you're going for like something that you can, put, you're going, you're earning your, if you're, you're maximizing. If you're accruing a lot of debt to do it. Exactly. No. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm, I'm trying to say. If you it, ultimately, you're going to maximize your earning potential by going to college. If you're not going to be able to graduate and do that, then stop. All right. Go, oh, yeah, go do it. something. Don't do it. Um, go be a thug. But um, <laughs> but go on po- a trade. Honestly, yeah, trade. Go, go on I, a trade. Yeah, I said that last pod, man. Like, like yeah, yeah, we go go yeah, get a trade, man. Yeah, don't don't like listen. Those that's good money. Good money yeah. to be made. All know right, know I mean? I'm, but, I'm gonna pay you handsomely. Okay, but uh, to your point about uh, like college not going away, it it doesn't necessarily have to go away, but you won't actually go there to go hoop. Like if you're any right. if you're anybody, like you know what I'm saying, you won't bother with that. And mm-hmm. you know what I mean? You you'll just be trying to get into the league, just like soccer players. But yeah. then also like man, get rid of AAU. Let this professional league start at fourteen. Why not? Man, look, the AAU basketball scene has been such a nasty thing as of late. Like some people will ask me about it because you know I used to play and they're like, Dear should I put my kid in AAU? And I'm like, No. Because yeah. it's just I mean, you could start an AAU program. It's not structured enough. It's not structured. And we're just taking money from kids and we're giving them opportunities or exposure. It's such a nasty game, man. You know, so no, I wouldn't do it. But screw all that, man. Let's get to what we really need to talk about, bro. So your boy K-Dot, he's bike, all right? Released a track on Futures, uh, whatever, whatever it is. I don't even care what it is. Metro Booming, Future, featuring K-Dot. He came out. He threw another haymaker at uh, seemingly Cole, but really it was at Drake. And uh, Cole caught no shots. No, I don't think he caught any shots either. It definitely was at Drake. But it had me caught, had me thinking because I know that Metro Booming and uh, and uh, and Drake have beef or something that's going on. Mm-hmm. But Kenny's tried this a couple times, man. He's he's tried it. He's not the last one. I forget what it was. The the song it was, but Control was it Control? It was something. Control like, was the last time he was like pushing the button on everybody. All right, pressing the button names. this time. This time was really like right to it, okay. So the question I have for you is: mm-hmm. Drake going to respond in any way? Of course, but uh, it won't be a directed diss. Like he doesn't. So here's the <clears> thing: <throat> like when I listened to that, uh, even when I sent it to you, I was like, "Yo, Drake's got to respond, but he's really going to kind of have his. He's going to kind of be in a corner because okay. it's like, what can you really say about Kendrick? It's like, can you say that he's not successful? No." Mm-hmm. Can you say that he's his albums are duds? No. Mm-hmm. Can you say that you know what I'm saying he's unaccomplished? Man's got Pulitzer, so no. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. like oh, can can you say that you know what I'm saying he really not from the streets? But you Aubrey, so right. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, your name was Aubrey. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? And, like, I mean, Kendrick from where he, where he say he from or whatever, and you from where you from. So right. And can't really talk about that. Mm -hmm. And he don't really posture himself as, like, being a super gangster. Right. So you can't really, like, try to outmaneuver him there. Can you outwrap him? Probably not. Right. So what so can what he do? Got? Yeah. yeah, exactly. What you so, got? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, take his girl. You could try. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that might be the only route that you really have to explore, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But kind of seems like they might be locked in. So right. ah, that might be a little tougher, too. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think Drake is going to kind of have to stick to subliminals. Like It's not worth engaging because even though that was a direct diss, it was actually very light. Like Kendrick was really just kind of that was kind of like the ruffle of the feathers, just to let you know like, hey, I see you, I don't like it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That, that, that was a little flick on the nose. He ain't been punched in the face yet, right? But you know what I'm saying? If you flick somebody on the nose, you pretty much prepared to punch him in the face, right? Right. So, yeah. You know but it's saying? but but so I, I I agree with everything you said about being backed into a corner, and I think that he doesn't have much to say. I think that's the bear. It's kind of like that that uh, academics had that video about the uh, the quote unquote crash out. It's like yo, the, the bear's right over there. He wants to fight. But you will not fight that guy, you know. <laughs> and I think with Drake, it's like he wants to have smoke for everybody. But the guy who's been literally screaming from the rooftops, no, no, I want to fight. I, w I want to spar. Okay, he won't. He won't engage with that guy. And well, I don't think no, he will. See, I, I don't know. I don't know because it's like I think that there's been a lot of uh, like sneak dissing going okay. on behind the scenes or whatever. I was watching somebody uh, kind of break down the history of this or whatever, because I guess Future is also beefing with Drake. Oh, I saw apparently. it. Yeah, I kind of picked up on that too. You know, yeah. and then that made what would Pluto do kind of make more sense. You know what I'm saying? What would Pluto do? Mm -hmm. He, you know what I'm saying? So I did it. Ah. Ah. And apparently they, they beefing about a girl or something like that. So, That's unfortunate. you know what I'm saying? Like, they, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You talking yeah. a little greasy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You talk, now you talking a little greasy or whatever, but I, I kind of think that that's where Drake's going to have to stick, like maybe throw a couple shots in the bars or whatever, but you can't make a directed diss song. Because last time you did that, that didn't work out well for you. Because mm -hmm. you took the bait with infrared and made Duffy freestyle, and then we got story added on, and then the conversation was over. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. that, <laughs> yeah. So, so we, okay, so a K-Dot album is coming or another, something's coming. Pusher's going to start rapping again over this. Like, I think he's... I, he did, I think he I think, did more damage than people think, though, with that, too. We kind of said that when it happened. I think that was super calculated by Kendrick, and he just kind of knew, like, you really won't have anything for me, or you can't really have anything for me, because you could jump out the window, but, you know, eh, you know what I'm saying? Kendrick, history not so muddy as far as we know. Maybe mm -hmm. it is. I don't know. And right. Drake got some, if he got something that we don't know about, cool, but it don't really seem like he would have much. Yeah. Uh, and Kendrick knows that. And Kendrick also knows, like, this is the light work. This is just to let you know I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm standing on it. You know what I'm saying? And you know exactly who I'm talking about. And so does everybody else know exactly who I'm talking about. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? If you want to do something, <clears throat> do something. Set it off. Do you think it's friendly competition or do you think it's really something substance behind it with K-Dot? Uh, I think, I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's that serious, but I, uh, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. know. It it might just be friendly competition, but it don't feel friendly. It don't. See, I, I think it did. I thought it did. Like it nah, didn't really. Like, it's it's been a lot of bars. It's been a lot of bars for a while, man. Like I'm saying, think about uh uh Kendrick and Baby Kim smoking on top fives. You yeah. know, I'm that guy. Yeah. But then listen to Kim's line right after that. Number two is DMing my girl. That's cool. I don't ask why. Mm. So like, mm. so first of all, you already saying Drake number two. Yeah, because Kendrick just said he was smoking on top fives. Right, and we know, and we know Cole is married, and happily married. So it has to yeah. be Drake. Drake has been the sniper yeah. everyone talked about. So, but also to say that you're number two, because Drake said, uh, "I'm top two. I'm not two. No, no, no. Number yeah. two. Yeah, is DM my girl. That's <laughs> yeah, cool on X Y. <laughs> That's a good point. That's so good. I'm saying it, it been some. You know what I mean? It been a little. Eh, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? They know yeah. what's going on. Yeah. I think the, the the surprising part about it is we kind of found out in real time the way Drake did because like it didn't seem like this was leaked or anyone knew it was coming, and like it it came out and everyone was shocked. Like there was yeah. a, I think academics had a video of them showing a video of 
maybe Drake finding out at that moment, like, yo, you're trending. Why are you trending? <laughs> <laughs> then he looked at, he saw Drake holding the phone, like white knuckling it, like, ah, oh, he did it again, you know? <laughs> they, they showed him leaving the club with headphones in. <laughs> yeah. He got, like, I, see, the video I saw, it showed him going to his writer's house and getting everybody to work, telling everybody to get together. <laughs> and he was sitting on the couch waiting for the disc to get written so he could spit it. That's what I mean. Listen, it's, it's going to be a tall order. Because, like I, I said, it's like, yo, either you got, and that's tough because it's like Kendrick is kind of forcing you to show your hand first. So it's yeah. like, yo, listen, you could, and you could sneak this, mm-hmm. but like, you ain't. But he's not going to sneak this. What though. could you say? Right. Well, think about he it. He will is, sneak this. Kendrick, no, Ken, this. Kendrick is Kendrick, not going to sneak this. Kendrick isn't going to sneak this, but Drake will. And I mean, yeah. it won't be so sneaky. It'll, we'll know who he's talking about. I mean, Drake been talking greasy about Pusha T ever since or whatever, but it's so light. Yeah. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't care about all those chains I bought from your bosses. I melt them down. I care about all that heritage stuff or whatever. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Like he been sending those shots or whatever, but it's so light that you know it's just kind of like eh, whatever. Well, it, it's not going to elicit a response. I think and it was I think also that that's the lane he got to stay in. I agree with you. The lane he has to stay in, but with, with push is a little bit different because it's almost like push pushed him into a corner to where there's nothing Drake can really say that can make us really be like, oh, that was a good one, Drake. No, it's like it 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 push. History of Adidon was just a kill shot. Yeah, it was a kill shot, man. Yeah. And, and I just don't think, I don't think there's much that Drake can really say. Plus, you, it's too many videos of you saying you were a fan of this guy, and then he <laughs> came out and did all that to you. It's like, come on, man, you were harboring a son. You're angry because yeah. your hair don't kink enough. It's like, come on, it, it was just too many lines in there, bro. It's almost like what uh, Lupe said about Royce the Five Nine. Dennis. Yeah, like, <laughs> yes. Like, it was just too many. It was too many. Like we all were like, yo, this is this is facts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is having the monkey suit. So, so. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. You are hiding a child. Let that boy come home. And the fact that you were, we was like, oh, okay. He stepped on man's whole press run for his adidas to come out man listen he stepped on this whole <laughs> press run for his son coming out yeah. brother yeah like, man, facts but it just but, exposed him but that's the thing where I, I i knew that drake is really kind of teflon because even as hip-hop story like hip-hop fans we looked at like yo this was crazy and still his fans was like yeah but I so mean, what? because like we haven't <laughs> seen it like yo if we're really being real like mm-hmm. no rappers gotten his career ended from like diss tracks i mean even no even, yeah, well, yeah even meek mill i'm saying i'm saying ja Rule and 50 cent like no. 50 50 what's really about meek job, mill nah like i mean meek still put out championships after that that album did well he still had lots of you know what i'm saying good features true you know, it wasn't until expensive pain where we realized, like, all right, Meek fell off, and honestly, that was because he was just putting out. He he just stopped making music for a while there, and like that's every artist's <clears> downfall. <throat> like that that's really the test. It's like, hey, can you take a five year break and come back and have people still rocking with you? Mm-hmm. That's gonna be the stamp on if you're a legend. Like Frank Ocean can do that. Kendrick can do that. Drake, we haven't ever seen it, but I imagine Drake could. I don't know that Drake could chill out for five years. I don't know if he want to. I don't you know, know if he could. Well, I, like, I, I think his style gets bit up so much. Like, Kendrick's style is so unique that, like, nobody's going to step on it. You know what I'm saying? So I he think, can always kind of return back and do his I thing. I think with Kendrick's thing, it's really just motivation. Because, like, his style, mm-hmm. like you said, will never go out of style. But I think even if we want to look back on it, uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, d- dope album. But it sounded like he just really didn't have much to talk about. You know, he had some Not personal stuff. He, real life. Well, yeah, his real life. But, like, yeah, I guess you're right. It, it did have his real life in there. But Damn was just so good. That yeah. I think that's the reason why I went into, it. and then with uh, Timber Butterfly, and then the other ones. Like those albums just seemed like they had a, a not a theme; they had something that he wanted to talk about. And maybe just maybe him being talking about his life, it came off differently. But I will say, if somebody jumps off the porch and gets him motivated to have competition, then I think that could be the motivation that we need to get Kenny back in a space that I wanted to be at, like Heart Three, and you know yeah. things that that I want to you know hear him talk about, like stuff that matters to him. Yeah, yeah, you know? no doubt. But the fact that Kendrick is able to be a little bit more methodical in the way that he puts out music and the content that he puts out just speaks to, you know what I'm saying, like the guy, you know what I'm saying, the man's is special. Is that you know is that Drake's problem though? Is it is what, it because he, he, he put out a lot of mid? Yeah, like a lot of mid, Kev. Yeah, like that's that's honestly that's what's kind of putting him in the predicament in this situation. It's like, yo, what can you really say to this guy? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like, yo, it's not like it's not like you and Meek Mill. Meek Mill wasn't on your level of success like Kendrick is. Like, yeah, to a degree, he's kind of more acclaimed. And and Kendrick making the the Michael Jackson Prince comparison, it's exactly right. 
That was where big. it's like, yo, yeah. Kendrick is looked at as more of a more of an artist. You know what I'm saying? A serious artist that Drake. We don't really look at him as an artist. It's like, yo, he's a guy. He's a good performer. He makes good mm-hmm. songs. I enjoy his music or whatever. But mm-hmm. it don't touch his spirit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just nice to sing along with. No, su- well, um, that's the thing. I think a lot of problem people have with Drake is that the substance isn't there. It was like, mm-hmm. yeah, that was decent. You did it, but it's like, all right, does it have stability? Does it? Excuse me. Does it have? Um, replayability like me coming back to really want to listen to it again it's like oh it was a cool i mean there's so many songs and things he put out that was my gripe with him over the time it's just like yo it's just too much you know like i don't really (laughs) know like even the the album with uh 21 savage it was a cool concept but i i've never revisited that one again like you i mean i I know you i know you i know you like that one i know um but it's just it's just too much in there and i think that that's the reason why i i like kendrick's way of moving is like he pops out when he wants to pop out he's not in our face all the time it was weird we see a video of kendrick just doing push-ups in the park like where <laughs> where, where, where did that come from you're happy you know? to see the guy you're yeah, like, oh, he's, he's, he's alive he's you out know? here like, yeah he's doing stuff exactly right. you know yeah. or uh you know he'd pop out on baby keen's um track and you come yeah. to find out you look at the backstory oh they're cousins you know yeah. whereas like with drake it's like you know I, I don't know if it's how long you could get the like to your point I'm better than you. I got more money than you. I got all this. It's like, yeah, that sounds and cool. And Drake got a lot of shaky albums, man. I know. Like, that's where a it lot. really gets tough. It's like, yo, listen. Uh, like, first of all, like we all forgot that. Honestly, never mind. Even came out, but that is that is a real thing. That is a Which real album that, that really one? exists, huh? That's Which the one, one with that? Sticky. Might have looked that up. Yeah, the, when he got that little like that little dance, that Euro dance album he tried to put out. Yeah, see. That's what I'm talking like, yo. The fact that Drake got one of those in his catalog, bro. This K Dot house is gonna be a tough one. Honestly, never mind. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot all yeah. about this. Yeah, album. you forgot that album came out. You know yeah. why? Because he he had to turn around, and drop another album, try to make us forget about it ASAP. Yeah, that was, you know what that was her bad. loss came out. Her loss came out four months later. Okay. Yeah, that was bad. That yeah, was like we that were, was, everybody was like, "Yo, this is trash." What is yeah, this? that's when like when Anderson Pat gave us that album, and he was like, "Yeah, y'all right." And he came back. It's one of the blog gave us some, some back, like, "Oh, no, my bad, y'all. My fault." <laughs> right. <laughs> I, exactly. I tried to go left, man. I went too far. Right. Like, bad, yeah. All right. I was wrong. I was wild. Kendrick don't have none of those, man. Untitled uh-uh. Unmastered is some of the best work he's ever made. Like, if you ever really went and it gets slept on because you know what I'm saying there was no marketing, and no promotion. He just kind of released it as a Lucy. Mm-hmm. Do you ever listen to that album? Oh, I do. Yeah. I listen yeah. to it all the time. Like, yo, fa- Blue Faces. One yeah. of the hardest songs I've ever heard. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, he really went crazy, and those were his Lucy's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, look like, at it. Heart, the Heart series is some of my favorite K Dot songs, man. Like yeah. Heart Three, still. I had it. I forget what I played it on, but it was like once again, just dope tracks. One on albums, just gave it to us. Pause. But that's because he really liked that. So that that that's a tough. Like again, like that's something else. Drake, you can't compare. It's like, well, I put out a lot of albums. It's like, yeah, a lot of them was trash though. I actually, I had like. Kendrick has certified classics. I mean, yeah. uh, we it, it's critically acclaimed that To Pimp a Butterfly, you know what I'm saying, is a right. modern masterpiece. You know what I mean? And like, we're not just talking about fans and all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. Like, oh, do you like it? It's like, no, by the masses, we kind of look at this as not like, oh, I just like this music. Is No, this is very impactful. This is a special body of work. Right. This is something different. So to have one of those that you put up on the mantle like that. A couple of those, I don't yes. Know, yeah, but that's the thing. I don't know that Drake does. No, that's a fact. But that, but that was always. And I think we're saying you the put same so thing. So far gone, maybe. <sighs> Nothing was the same as not that great of an album. Take well, we, care is special to me. Uh, the one where uh, nothing was the same. That was your favorite one. No, no, I don't no. Like no. Uh, was what was it called? The one with the, the crazy writing. Uh, um, if you're, you're reading, reading this, that's one of my favorites. Now, favorites. That, that okay. one is. Like that one is that's the career defining moment right there. Yeah, for, for Drake, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's when he but really that, got to his back. But that that's kind of been the telling like point of asking whenever you re- meet a, a Drake stan. It's like, yo, what is Drake's classic album? And you ask yeah. him that and they ponder over so it. So far gone. So far that's, gone. But that was always one everybody's mine. gonna go for. It. Yeah, that's what like, I was First saying. of all, that was like a mixtape or whatever, and that was it was still like new and fresh. But it's like, yo, why Scorpion ain't really like stick like that? Why Views from the Six ain't really stick like that? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's a lot of. I don't want to say filler in the catalog because all those albums have songs on them that I enjoy and I don't dislike the albums. Mm-hmm. It's just like, yo, every time I hear a Kendrick album, it's like I'm taking away something new. When I hear a Drake album, it's like, okay, I like that. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm dancing. It's good for the car or whatever. Right. I'm turning up. I'm cleaning the house. Right. This right. is a lot of fun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a lot lyrics of fun. Are simple. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lyrics are simple. Think about that though, Kev. That's a, this is supposed to be one of the best five, the best top three lyricists 
of all that's a talent like i'm saying being able to hit those markers bro that is a talent in itself as well so i can't discount drake for that either it's just this is a tough matchup because it's like yo the usual things that you kind of pull on like i'm more successful i've done this i've done that Mm -hmm. Like, yo, like, Spider-Man's pointing back at Spider-Man, except for the other one got, he got the Venom suit, though, brother. You know what I'm saying? He got the right. symbiote on him. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> to your point, though, I don't think he says anything. I don't think he does, man. I, I think he knows this. He's smart to know, like, ah, the one person. Don't take the bait. <laughs> yeah, don't take the bait. Take yeah, it's not worth it. He's going to stand pat, all right? He, Meek, he, he'll throw a subliminal shot. Nah, he'll what he should do is go there. on Twitter and say, hey, Meek, shut up. Just say that. You know, just get. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? There, there is an X factor that I did not think about. What's that, man? It's Scissor Pillow talking. Scissor might have some secrets. Scissor yeah. might have gave up some secrets. You know what I'm saying? All, Kendra all, can't really put her on all like that. All that's giveth can be taken away. Kendra can make one can make one call to Doctor Miami, and Scissor could be all gone too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it might be too late by then. She might already gave up the info. You know what I'm saying? Drake, the Drake hit her with that lover boy. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, hold on. What, what was man's that was scamming all the women on Netflix? Oh, you talking about uh, was it Hush Puppy? No, 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 no. no, no, no you talking no, no. about the oh, Tinder swindler? Series. Yeah, Tinder yeah, swindler. Yeah. yeah, Drake came in. Drake came in like the Tinder swindler. On his scissor. <laughs> had him giving up all the info on Kendrick, man. Just, just straight double crossed him. Well, that would that would have to. Drake would have had to know that Kendrick was cooking something up for him. Oh, he I don't think know. He, he knew. knew. I'm gonna yeah. tell you the person I feel bad for after all this is Big Sean. Big Sean popped back out again, released a single. No one cared. I didn't even know they it put, came out. They put him right back where he came. Like, <laughs> man, he mentioned the bigger three. They was like, oh, is he is he talking crap? Man, Kendrick dropped his verse. We was like, who? Who? Sean. <laughs> Drake Big Cole. Sean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, it was all like uh, you know what? For for a slight <laughs> second, I wondered if Kendrick was dissing Sean again. He's like, big three. <laughs> You're talking about big three. It's just big me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't, 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 don't compare yourself, bruv. Right. <laughs> right. Can you with the bruv? Yeah. I feel you. I feel oh, you. Man. All right, man. Let me restore some order in here, man. You got anything else? Nah, man. I think that was enough for the people. All right, man. But yo, yo, yo. Be the people. This is Nate here. This is Kev. And yo, we are Games Music Life. This was the Games Music Life podcast episode 300. 330? 330. Yep. Yeah. Drink more water, people. Peace.